In order to demonstrate the horizontal and vertical and slope constraints, we will add a new unconstrained component here made up of points A and point B. While these points are unconstrained, they will show up as green points in the Create Template dialog box. And as unconstrained points, they will always stay at the same offset and elevation relative to the template origin. So you can see as we move point A around, point B does not move because it is going to stay relative to the template origin. If we right click on point B and give it a horizontal constraint relative to point A, the value currently is 5 feet and we'll maintain that. Now as we move point A, we'll notice that point B will always stay 5 feet horizontally to point A, but it'll stay in the same position vertically because there is no vertical constraint on B, which means it'll stay at the same position vertically relative to the template origin. Now if we right click on point B and add a vertical point constraint relative to A, we'll see that the value will get automatically populated based on its current position. And now as we move point A around inside the template, point B will say, stay at the same position relative to A horizontally and vertically. If we remove both of these constraints now and add in just one slope constraint on B, we'll make the, uh, the parent point A and it'll maintain a 40% slope off of A. So as we again right click on point A and move it around, point B will stay at a minus 40% slope relative to A no matter where in the template we move it. 